Hello Aquarius, intuitive soul coach here with your November health, wealth, and abundance bonus reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Aquarius and we're going to take a look at again all things health, wealth, and abundance. So please do check out the disclaimer in the description box below. And if you are interested in signing up for a personal reading or even entering into my free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Aquarius, we are going to first dive into the category of health. We're going to take a look at your chakras and take a look at which one maybe uh, you may be focusing on at this time time. All right, so we have the solar plexus chakra coming up right away for you. This is located in the upper abdomen here, just below the rib cage. This is all about our source of power, feeling confident within our own skin here. This is all about confidence. Uh, this uh, this area is associated with that inner fire. It's almost like that wand energy here. It's about your will, your self-esteem, your essence of transformation as well. If you feel that you're lacking power, tap on your solar plexus uh, to gain, help gain that internal strength. It's also that Leo energy as well. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. So for a lot of you, uh, if this is manifesting externally, it may come in the form of stomach aches. It can come uh, actually as acid reflex as well if you've been having issues with that uh, it can go with any area even in your back mid back area if you've been having issues uh, but a lot of you are focusing on confidence at this time perhaps you are the kind of person here Aquarius that gives your power out too easily uh, this may be about you bringing back in that power feeling confident within your own skin once again and again if you are feeling any uh, any area of concern please do seek professional medical advice as I am not a health professional, uh, but the solar plexus area can be balanced and maintained, the chakra here, by focusing on orange fruits, orange veg vegetables here. Maybe that's more bananas in your diet. This can be more, uh, you know, squash. This is uh, also wearing items that are orange can certainly help you out, as well as working with crystals such as citrine uh, help you in that area as well, or any yellow gemstones. Uh, so for a lot of you, I feel like you're you're switching something. You're becoming more confident regarding your health. A lot of you could be going on a diet, maybe changing and transforming the way that you look, Aquarius, and it's it's affecting your self-esteem. So if there was an area that maybe you thought uh, kind of made you feel a little bit abandoned, rejected, or not as loving or kind to yourself, I feel like you're focusing on that area. For example, small example here, let's say your teeth were not as white as you wanted. The reason I say this is because they're actually showing me uh, a teeth whitening kit. So I feel like uh, maybe you've been whitening your teeth or maybe you have been changing some physical appearance, uh, appearance to help your self-esteem. Uh, maybe this is all about you changing your look, getting a new hairstyle. Uh, even though we're talking about health, it doesn't have to be external because it all stems from internal feelings and emotions. So we can be focusing on mental health, emotional health, along with physical health as well. A lot of you are changing Again, I'm getting a diet very strongly for a lot of you. Changing what you put into your body at this time it will help you feel a lot more confident. All right. I feel like, ooh, I love it. Regarding health, we have opening to discover. This is all about receiving important information from the universe here, Aquarius, opening to discover. You may be receiving a lot of signs, synchronicities, and prompts to move forward regarding your health. Perhaps your body is talking to you at this time. Maybe you were in a bookstore or you were scrolling social media and you seen uh, a recipe or a blog on maybe a diet, maybe the keto diet or Mediterranean diet here. Uh, perhaps this is you opening up to holistic remedies on how to heal health headaches naturally. Uh, the solar plexus area, maybe this, they're also showing me um, some ginger root, ginger root. So if you've been eating ginger root, or uh, if you've been having stomach issues, uh, look into ginger root as well. Maybe Google and see if that resonates with you and talk to your doctor. 
But I feel like opening to discover here is you opening up to other possibilities of how to heal your body, mind, and soul on that, again, holistic level. So I like to see this because I feel like you're opening up where at one point in your life, you either didn't know how to go towards achieving your health goals. And I feel like now you are educating yourself or you are moving towards, you know, a cleaner a cleaner you. I'm also seeing detox, detox. So a lot of you, and this doesn't have to mean, you know, a physical uh, food detox. It can mean detoxing yourself from people who make you feel less than confident and that kind of put you down. You're saying, you know what? I'm not going to put up with that in my life. It's affecting my health. A lot of you may not be able to be uh, eating at this time. Maybe you're not eating because of some stress or some people affecting your life, but now you're feeling back on cor uh, course. I love this. Uh, if you look, those two kind of mimic each other here, that sunflower energy or the, the sun, right? The sun is all about good health, vitality, abundance. And you can see with the queen of wands energy here, Aquarius, she's magnetized and she's attracting all of the other flying creatures towards her abundance. She's shining that light and that torch so high that others cannot help but be intrigued and be curious and magnetized towards her energy. The Queen of Wands is somebody who is looking attractive. She knows her potential, knows her self-worth, and that may be what you're working on again at this time. Uh, the solar plexus and the Queen of Wands go hand in hand. She's confident within who she is. And you be, may be working on finding that piece of you again. The Queen of Wands is also very confident, very bold. And when she goes for something, she goes for it. So I feel like you're discovering new things about yourself at this time that may take you on a whole new uh, adventure. I like this. Spirit, what else do we have for the category of health for Aquarius? And it doesn't matter if you are female or male. It's just the energy here. We have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about an expansion of opportunities. Again, we're getting the same messages back to back for each card here. But the Three of Wands, again, is about expansion. It's about uh, achievement, a return on which you've invested in. You're looking at something and you're moving forward. You're saying, you know what? If I invest in my body and myself and my time and my energy, it will be beneficial to me. You will have invested for a positive good reason. And that's what I'm seeing coming from the Three of Wands regarding your health. Health. All right, let's take a look here. What else do we have in the category of health for Aquarius? Oh my Lord, I love it. I love it. You got the sun. Exactly. Not only is the sun bright and yellow and beautiful, not only do we have the queen of wands holding the sunflower, you have the sun in your final position for your health. So for those of you Aquarians who felt under the weather, or maybe you felt like your body wasn't the way you wanted, you're loving yourself, your whole self, and nothing but yourself. Okay, you're loving others as well, but you're focusing on your confidence, and it is through the roof at this time. And I feel like it's not in a cocky way, but it's in a confident way. You're, uh, you're emanating, you're shining from the inside out and people are looking at you saying, dang, Aquarius, what is going on? Why are you, why are you glowing at this time? Because you are investing in your beautiful self here, Aquarius. I love this. The sun card is all about abundance, vitality, success. It's about good health. You're feeling great in the month of November and you're sticking to your goals is what I am sensing here. And even if you do get off track, you're not beating yourself up like you maybe did in the past. So I love this for you. Beautiful. Let's take a look at your wealth category. We have spirit of gratitude. Spirit of gratitude. This is saying that your prayers will be answered. If you have been, and that may be actually what's affecting health, good health as well, because I do want to mention, even though we're doing health, wealth, and abundance, all of these categories flow like a spider web, flow into each other. So when you're feeling good in one area of your life, kind of like a chakra, when one of your chakras is on fire, feeling in a good way, it illuminates and helps your other chakras balance out as well. And with the spirit of gratitude in your wealth category, if you've been wanting to bring in more finances, a job change, a business opportunity, this is your prayers being answered at this time. The universe is saying here, I got your back, Aquarius. I got your back. If you've been wanting to transfer companies uh, or if you have been 
wanting to travel for business here. Uh, the Four of Swords says that there is a, a little bit of a rest period for you, a rejuvenation period with the Four of Wands. This is about healing and self-love, and that's what's happening here in your healing sector. So maybe the first half of November, I'm almost, I'm getting November 7th, and I know I got this as well uh, for for another sign uh, but pay attention again to november 11th it's a very huge portal manifesting portal day 11 11 2021 a lot of one energy so make sure you are keeping your thoughts positive you're taking the time to rest but you're bringing into focus what it is that you want to achieve and that may be you know this is you taking a time out taking time for yourself if you are hustling and bustling you're saying you know what i'm gonna put me first even though i have all this to do i'm gonna take a five minute breather either a five minute nap, a meditation. So again, I feel like you're focusing on yourself and uh, it's going to help you actually achieve more, uh, more finances. So when we do clarify the area of wealth, we're talking about money, job, career, again, finances. Okay. So we have the moon card and we have the five of cups in reverse so we have the moon card so regarding your health it's been uncertain there you haven't quite uh, discovered all that you've needed to discover regarding your wealth and i feel like you may still be waiting for clarity regarding uh, if you're going to receive a job or if this is the right business for you or if you're going to get that raise or promotion so do pay attention towards the end of the month uh, especially during that full moon period on the 19th of november there may be a lot more clarity Clarity coming in for you things will be exposed at that time and uh, I feel like with the five of cups showing up here in reverse this is about you fa having faith again in the future I like that the five shows up in reverse because I feel like you're appreciating what it is that's right in front of you or the offers that are being given to you at this time whereas in the past uh, with the five of cups maybe you were focusing on the glass is half empty instead of half full but now you're looking at what you have right here. So I feel like there will be a communication, there will be clarity regarding your wealth, but let's get one more card for the category of wealth. Let's take a look. All right. Ten of Wands, okay, beautiful though. Ten of Wands, uh, I feel like you're releasing the heavy burdens that you've been carrying. So if you've been stressing out about not having enough money, I feel like you will find clarity and you're releasing that. You're appreciating uh, the things that you have here. And I feel like Spirit has your back. I will say that, especially with the Spirit of Gratitude. You're appreciating and grateful for the opportunities, the people, the money, what you do have in front of you. And if you've been carrying the stress, whether it's mental stress, mental burdens or you've been just carrying loads and loads on your back and this may actually have to do with your back pain as well if you've been having any back pain with that solar plexus this is about you releasing and you moving forward into a new direction here all right let's take a look at your abundance category Ooh, beyond the ordinary this is about some things aren't meant to be known and you did get that moon card so i feel like again Spirit is working behind the scenes for you, Aquarius, which is quite beautiful because even though you're going through this healing, you have the sun, you're feeling good about yourself. What you're actually doing is that energy is shifting. It's transforming, allowing more abundance and wealth to come into your life. So there's still a little bit of a, a period here of waiting, but I feel like uh, the universe has a bigger plan than you have for yourself. So for example, let's say you really, really, really wanted this job or this raise or promotion. And I feel like, uh, let's say you again you wanted this job and the unit and you did not get it and it did leave you a little bit disappointed and it left you feeling okay what now what next that may be what you're kind of going through for a little small period that's where this four of swords comes in where you're taking taking the the difficult or the news of something kind of the letdown but the universe is saying no no aquarius it's not a letdown actually what it is here is we uh, our rejection is God's protection, right? So something wasn't meant for you. We have something even more beautifully planned for you coming in here. You just wait because ultimately it's going to have you releasing these heavy burdens because we can see the bigger picture instead of you just seeing, you know, <coughs> excuse me, the picture of what's right there. How do I know? The Empress. 
in the category of abundance here, we have the Empress. You know what the Empress means? She embodies the energy of abundance. She's the most abundant card in the whole deck here. This is somebody who is on top of her game. She knows she's worthy, okay? So this is what you're working on, knowing your worth. And I feel like the more you dive into this energy of the, sac the solar plexus chakra, the more that you will be illuminated and other people are gonna notice your worth too. And that may be where the shift comes in. Uh, but there is a, just a tiny little bit of waiting here. There's the reju uh, rejuvenation, that rest. There's still a little bit of work that you need to do in this area of feeling good enough, feeling confident enough to take a leap of faith into a new direction. But the emperor is showing up as saying that uh, you will be feeling this new creative uh, fertility energy here where you're, you're giving life to something new. Some of you may become pregnant. You may find out that somebody in your energy is pregnant here as well, but I feel like a lot of you are starting new creative ideas and it's bringing in a lot of abundance. Uh, let's take a look. Some of you actually may be a mother or maybe you're focusing on anything maternal. Maybe you're taking care of others and you feel like you have a maternal protection over others. Maybe they aren't even your blood. Maybe they are. Uh, and I feel like that is an abundant... Uh, abundance coming in for you. We have the chariot. So despite you working through this healing uh, and the uncertainties, it's not going to last forever because I feel like it's coming in sooner rather than later. Uh, this abundance, whatever you're trying to bring more of in your life, the chariot here says there is triumphant success. There's confidence here. There's movement forward. Some of you, this can be travel. Maybe you're traveling or planning some travel plans. Uh, but I like this because it's saying that you're not going to be stuck forever. So you'll see something actually happening quite fast yeah four of cups showing up in reverse so make sure that uh i feel like there's an opportunity coming towards you okay four of cups showing up in reverse for your abundance saying that you know that opportunity that you thought you missed there's a new opportunity coming in for you so let's take a look and see if you grab it i i know you will i think you will because it's coming towards you this new opportunity is coming towards you that originally again maybe you thought you missed out on but let's take a look final Oh my goodness. Yes. Final outcome. We have the King of Wands. Aquarius, this is beautiful. This is you marching to the beat of your own damn drum here. The King of Wands is entrepreneurial energy, or he's a very successful business or business woman or business owner here or businessman. Somebody who's very passionate and sensual. He's a leader. He's adventurous, warm. He's also uh, could be speaking, a motivational speaker, but the energy I'm getting from the King of Wands is you're working your way to the top you're doing something that's quite adventurous this can also be somebody else coming into your life here uh, it can be somebody of a boss uh, leadership here where you are trying to attain abundance so if you are looking for love or if you're wanting to build up a relationship there's going to be a lot of abundance with this king of wands coming in here uh, if this is you looking for again a new job or a new opportunity this is somebody coming and saying you know what i'm going to give you this opportunity and you can be happy have more flexibility. You can march to the beat of your own drum. It almost feels like you are working for yourself here. And if you are an entrepreneur, beautiful energy because you're doing your thing. I love this for you. What a beautiful way to balance out the energies. All right, we are gonna pull here for you, Aquarius, from the Soul Truth deck. And what I recommend, is that you either pause the video and really think of your answer or maybe even pause and journal the question here and reflect on it, meditate on it. I love these questions. It really makes you think on that soul level, which is what a lot of us need to be doing at this time. So we just need one here, Spirit. Thank you. All right, and even feel free to save the video and come back to at times in November uh, or highlight certain areas that stand out to you. So this is your message here, Aquarius. Where am I called to use my voice right now? You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. Share your story with at least one person today. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. Beautiful energy here. Oh, I love it. They're also actually telling me as I was writing that or as I was reading that here, they're telling me that you have the perfect pair. So for those of you, again, that are looking to either partner up whether this is in love, whether this is in career, 
you have a divine match coming in and that may be what's working behind spirit's doors that you can't see at this time i love this this can also just be the energy of both this can be your own yin yang energy uh complementing each other at this time all right and last but not least here aquarius we're going to get a message from spirit what do we have for aquarius for november health wealth and abundance inspire passion whoa so not only do we have a lot of wands out here gosh you have the queen of wands the three of wands you have the ten of wands you have the king of wands you have the sun card so there's a lot of wand energy which is about inspiration willpower sexuality the solar plexus about feeling in your power that is your passion your powerhouse it says life devoid of passion can be a boring uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul now is a time to reignite your passion and rejoin life this is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you to all that is sacred whoa you're definitely resetting your powerhouse your script here i feel like there's a new you emerging that is coming from a place of a lot of passion creativity and self-confidence so go you aquarius all right that is what i have for you i hope it resonates uh, if so please hit that like button the more beautiful divine channeled messages we can get out into the universe the better and if you haven't already please feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button, share, comment, whatever you feel compelled to do. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm sending you all out a lot of love and light. Till next week.